body fragile even thoughts also relative identity right your thoughts are relative identity or absolute identity with your body man woman young old all these things father mother brother sister husband wife but these identities where does it happen in your head in your thinking you twist it are you getting the twist it today you are married to a man or woman just think of it you are married or woman so you are husband is wife in your head he is the husband i am the wife something happened you you part company divorce so he is married and he is he is he is hello independent now i am independent that role changes where does the role change in your head the same thread you are telling my husband my wife now he says no more husband no more wife now is available for somebody else to come in when you marry to somebody else you are her husband or his wife what happened to the past thought so these relationships where does it happen friends physically or inside no more you are my son no more you are my daughter i hate my parents you disappear what are you doing ruthlessly cutting down that thought even if it is there you don't want to remember it your game goes on inside your head handle because the student learns it therefore the student shall say oh i am the shishya i am the disciple i am the guru he is the guru ha huh. even that also can destroy that destroy you therefore sanyas when naam guru natvam shishya i told you are the brahman the absolute naam guru natvam shishya i am not a guru you are not a disciple van shivoham shivoham na guru neva shishya chidananda roopa shivoham shivoham literally you know, understand ritualistically is cut off how beautiful so your mind can give you relative identities or else wake up because the person can play absolutely truant game meaning just like the parents are given up human relationship breaks down even the so called spiritual relationship also can be destroyed when the people don't understand what it means so since everything is fragile jagrata wake up wake up waking up means what listen carefully waking up means what you are not negating anybody you are not negating anything you are only negating yourself the fellow who is identifying you understand the point but people think i must so i'll start with the dropping the guru ha <laughs> kaam na choda krodh na choda ram bhajan kyu chhod diya you never gave up your emotions to be emotions under which you are com- coming under con- com- com- the spell of it but give up the bhajan right never got the knowledge first kill the guru fantastic <laughs> once you get the knowledge you don't have to kill the fellow he automatically drops out when you see you cease to be a shishya but be the brahman the truth everything automatically drops out you don't have to drop the god drop the you the individuality everything it drops therefore jagrata wake up waking up does not mean now i know this fellow is a rascal you know oh ho oh. so you are looking up to other people's mistake what do your mistake ah um. <laughs> that is my friends please see that artham nasti guruham none of these things are there not only that janma dukham jara dukham ucha sinda atnu no birth no death no old age no nothing and if you hold on to that you shall feel punished changing die as the capital punishment given to you a person who is given the capital punishment how does he spend his days in the isolated cell in a very well guarded prison if you don't understand yourself in this well guarded prison of a body you are a prisoner inside waiting for capital punishment any day i will die <laughs> but when you understand yourself the same prison paradise immortal i am the content of this place that place every place choice is yours 
absolute or relative. In being absolute, no choice. In relative, there is no choice. Identify, not identifying, there is a choice. So don't touch anything, anybody. Be yourself. Close your eyes, please. Just see this, however much I may be talking, shouting. The silence is waiting silently. I stop talking. Silence doesn't surface, it's always there. When all your arguments, your projections, agitations, intellectual jugglery, everything stops. Yourself, the truth, the consciousness, doesn't surface, it's not waiting, it's always there. We listen so that you don't have to listen again. We talk so that you don't need to talk to be myself. So use the words to go beyond words. Use the names to find the nameless. Teaching is a game. But the teacher doesn't give you something, facilitates your being with yourself. A facilitator, not a creator of truth. Please John, do it three times, please. Thank you.